the 33-year-old former X Factor runner-up was accused of stirring up panic on Black Friday when shoppers were left fearing for their lives amid rumors of a shooter in Selfridge's department store. He tweeted his 7.5 million followers warning them to get out and reporting gunshots. But the incident was later revealed to have been a false alarm when the Metropolitan Police confirmed there had been no terror threat. Speaking about the incident, the Voice UK favourite Holly revealed, something happened that day. It's all a bit murky, he told the Sun. Recalling the terrifying experience, which saw hundreds of shoppers running in fear. He explained, I ran into an office after being told by the staff of Selfridges that someone was there with a gun, whether they were shooting into the air, or whatever, something happened that day, whether it was covered up, I don't know. One minute I'm sitting there and this guy's saying, if you press this button you get a massage, the next time getting thrown against a wall, he said. And then there's people screaming and running towards exits and I'm thinking. What the fk? Ollie remembered how he had run for his life thinking there was an active shooter. Calling the sounds of people screaming terrifying. The pop star, who had not heard gunshots himself at the time claimed that he had based his Twitter warning on information from the shop's staff. Added, this woman said, someone was up there shooting, I could see him. In the beauty aisle he had a gun. Initially the British Transport Police said, officers are responding to reports of an incident at Oxford Circus Station. Officers are on scene, more information when we get it, whilst Transport for London said on Twitter, Oxford Circus Station is closed while we investigate a customer incident. It was subsequently reported that a fight at Oxford Street Underground station had sparked panic which had led to people fearing about a possible attack. The situation was quickly clarified when after an hour after Ollie first tweeted about what was happening in Oxford Street, the British Transport Police announced that officers had been stood down after finding no evidence of a terror attack. Selfridges later confirmed no shots were fired and the store was temporarily evacuated as a precautionary measure. They tweeted, Selfridges London was evacuated today as a precautionary measure. We have been working with that Met Police who can, can confirm that were no reported incidents in store. Ollie was mocked and criticised by Piers Morgan for his tweets when the Good Morning Britain host told his 6.48 million followers, stop tweeting mate at Ollie official. Nothing happened. Listen Piers. I was shopping and then all of a sudden the whole place went mad. I mean crazy people running and screaming towards the exits, Ollie responded. If you was there you'd have understood mate. No. You listen, Ollie, Piers hit back. When you have millions of followers be very careful what you tweet. Leave it to the police. Next time. Piers also said that the troublemaker singer could have put more people in danger accused him of stirring. Extra panic. Ollie told the publication that he still gets trolled over his tweets, calling the level of abuse he received unfair. However, he also conceded that people should be careful what they post on Twitter. I did exactly what the police say to do, run. Hide and tell, he said. The Voice UK coach revealed that, in contrast to the mockery he has suffered, those caught up in the panic shared their support for his actions.